Wouldn't it be great if you could be ready for summer right now? Well, actually, it kind of can be if you start some skinny habits today. Joining me now is health and nutrition expert David Zellberg. David, good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, so so you got like five skinny habits that you call that are really basically not too hard to do, right? So let's start with some of them. Absolutely. So the concept of the five skinny habits is that you make one change every week for five weeks. All right, so you basically say, this week I'm gonna do this, this week I'm gonna do that. Right. So it's basically five changes, and they're easy, simple changes. Yes. All right, so let's start with what they are. So in the first week, you're gonna make a change to your breakfast. Okay. And that's the only change you're gonna make. You're not making any other changes to your meals. So what are you gonna do to it? So you're, you're gonna have either a fruit meal, or you're gonna have a salad with a low-fat dressing, or what you're gonna have is any meal less than 250 calories. So that includes uh, two eggs and a toast or cereal and milk. Right, so you're basically gonna do that to your breakfast and then That's you have to it. stick with that? And you're gonna stick with your lunch and, and dinner as you normally eat it. All right, no so other changes. week two comes, you still have to stick to the change you made on week one, right? right? And what's week two comes? In week two, you're gonna make a change to your lunch or to your dinner. You can choose which one it's gonna be. So mm -hmm. you'll choose a protein, only a protein. So that could be a fish, a chicken, or a steak and you have a vegetable side dish with it. So you could have sauteed vegetables and you'll have, if you want, you can have a glass of dry red wine. Right. I think I see where this is heading. So now you fix my breakfast, now you fix my lunch, right. right? But I don't feel like I've changed everything all at once. Week three, what am I doing? Week three is your final change to your meal. So, and that's called the V plus meal. V for veggies. Okay. And you're gonna have your meal as you regularly do, no changes. The only difference is, is that for seconds, if you want seconds, you're gonna take vegetables. Right, which that's is the it. biggest problem, right? People right. load up their plate with everything from the Absolutely. beginning. All right, so you got my, my breakfast, my lunch or my dinner's changed, and then my seconds are now veggies. And this is my three changes, I got two more, what are they? Right, so in week four, you're gonna start with exercise. Uh, well, right. that's about time, right? right? So everyone's dreading exercise. Right. And the good news is that you only make a very simple change. 10 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of cardio three times a week. All right, so commit to that, which is commit everybody has 10 minutes. Right. Okay. And so some people might say, well, that's, that's too little. You know, let's start off with a more exciting uh, exercise program. And that's back to the, the regular fair diet mentality, which is I want the big bang, I want the changes now. But motivation wanes. You want to start with habits where you work with your mind, you work with your body, you don't fight against human nature, you're working with human nature. Oh, okay, so you're up to four. And the last thing, so we got the exercise. The What's final the changes thing? between the meals, snacking is always the, the, the right. hard challenge, right? So we encourage you drinking water uh, between the meals. We encourage fruits and vegetables. And we also encourage low fat dairy. You want to get that calcium and you want to have, uh, you know, low fat uh, yogurts, which are, are very good for weight loss. Yeah. Well, what I love about this, though, David, what makes such perfect sense is that you're really teaching people that it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Right, so it's kind of like the undiet, which is what you kind of say the five skinny habits is, right? Right, it's less about diet, it's less about permitted and forbidden foods. It's more about making actual ha habitual changes, changing the way that you view food. Because when we change the way we view food, then we'll want to change and then we'll maintain those results for the long term. And it's easy, very easy to live with. Now you lost 30 pounds yes, with this, right? Yes. It worked, how long ago? Uh, about 10 years ago. All right, Dave, well it's worked for you. It's been a long time, 10 years, you look great. <laughs>